Hello small model collectors. So I was perusing some used toy stores and uh, I reviewed these two. Uh, these are 1400 scale Gundams. So when I saw these I just assumed they were Gundams also because they look like robots. They're all around the same size. The only thing that was different is the base is a little different but so are these two bases, right? So it turns out these are not Gundams. Uh, the first well, Sunrise owns Gundam, so that's another reason why I thought it might have been a Gundam. But CM's is a brand I'm familiar with for making uh, other toys, uh, so uh, interesting. After some research, it turns out these three robots are from a franchise called Dugram or Dugram. Fang of the Sun Dugram. So this is a 75 episode TV show. And it was from 1981 to 1983, so a couple of years. And then in 1983, there was a full-length feature film called The Documentary of the Fang of the Sun. So, I haven't watched any of it. I am not familiar with all this stuff, but this is actually right up my alley, just looking at these images. I mean, they look like Gundams, right? Just slightly different. But they also have these weird walking tanks, like crab tanks. Let's see if I can find an image of one. Oddly, these are all just two leg. Here we go. So there's a, a weird, <coughs> a weird looking walking crab tank, and I like tanks too. So, it, yeah, uh, I like all these classic designs. You know, before like modern trans Michael Bay's Transformers, where robots have 16 billion parts. You know, that's fine and all for movies, but it's almost impossible to have so much detail in the toy so I kind of like these classic designs like like this right it's so plain looking but still funky so anyways let's take a look at these things so these toys put out by CMs were from the early 2000s and there are at least three waves um, I don't know I think this might be from the first wave I'm not sure what well, way to find a photograph of it but it's very similar to what Bandai does with their toys. It's got tampo printing, you know, paint everywhere. Uh, it's got the simple peg foot stand, a really small peg, plain bottom feet. Uh, no articulation though. Everything's glued together, it looks like. But, you know, nicely painted. And it's really small, so it's like really tiny. So this one uh, is called Mackerel, I believe. No, let me just double check. No, I'm mistaken. This one is called the Bushman. So it's got a weird, like, insect looking head, but I think those little dots are like missile pods or something. Anyways, here's some images of other, the larger scale, 70 foot, 2 scale uh, model kits or something. I don't know why it's called a Bushman, but that's what it is. So the one that was called Mackerel is this more planar looking one, so. Let's see if this thing has no no moving parts whatsoever. It's just a figurine. But it's got number 37 printed there on the knee as well as up there. Two lights or something there. I don't know if these are missile pods in this skirt. Uh, nice tampo printing there. And then some sort of thrusters. Or This actually is probably like an underwater robot. Like a Z-Gawk or something like that. Maybe these are uh, propellants. Okay, well anyways, that's what's going on with that. And then the giant one here is called a blockhead. But oddly, you know, the head isn't very blocky. So uh, I don't know where they came up with their naming stuff. And then it's got some uh, you know, chevrons there, some arrows on the knees. Um, and then a T-108 on the lower leg. It's like two different browns, a tan and a brown color. Uh, this one, the arm does move. Okay, so that's nice. Got a missile pod next to the head. The head doesn't seem to move. This arm comes off as well. So decent enough panel details. It looks like it has guns here for a nose. And then you'll notice here it's all soft, you know, plastic. So you don't have to worry about dropping it. You know, nothing's gonna break. There's no rigid parts. You know, like this magazine. See, very cool. So I kind of wish all the converge figures were like that. I've broken many a, of an antenna on my Bandai Gundam Converge figures. Alright. Boy, so this might have opened up a can of worms of new collecting here. I see a YouTube here of a 144 scale 
uh, maybe it's a model kit. There's obviously 172 scales we've seen. Look at this thing, it's got like a, a glider attachment. Uh, yeah, there's finished toys, there's model kits, there's all sorts of stuff around this franchise. I just haven't watched or seen any of it, so... Well, I don't know, we'll see. Don't be surprised if I have a, <laughs> a bunch of Dugram or Dugram uh, stuff. I'm gonna try to find the videos, you know, if I can watch them. Uh, just like I did with the Votoms. Uh, I did watch the whole original animations of Votoms, and it was okay. I naturally like the toys more than the actual cartoon. That seems to be the case. Like, uh, I like Gundam toys, but I find most of their vid videos to actually be very depressing because it's always about people dying in war. <laughs> Alright, well anyways, uh, I'll see you guys. Thanks for watching today. And, uh, if you guys know of any web links explaining all the toys around this franchise, please, please leave a comment with it because I'd like to see what else they put out for this Dugram. Dugram. Alright, bye.